So Byron Panetta is scheduled to appear in court in a few months. But today, Representative Gates wants to know why the process is taking so long and why Panetta wasn't deported before February's deadly incident. When we saw that someone in Escambia County had been killed on a motorcycle by an illegal alien with an ICE detainer, obviously it raised questions. Just two days after Byron Pineda's arrest for driving with a suspended license that police say led to the death of a 21-year-old motorcycle rider, Representative Matt Gates sent this letter to the Department of Homeland Security expressing concerns about Pineda's legal standing with the U.S. government that includes a prior hold by Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Even before this fatal uh, incident where someone died on a motorcycle, uh, you had some sort of contact with Pineda and law enforcement. And that's what we want to know. Was it about uh, a dangerous crime? Was it about a crime um, uh, of unlawful entry into the country? Gates' letter to DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas asked these four questions. How did Byron Pineda enter the country? Why has he been allowed to remain in the country? For what crimes or reasons is Pineda wanted by ICE? and how promptly will he be deported if convicted in Florida. But on March 8th, DHS declined to answer the questions, citing privacy laws, saying Pineda would need to sign off on the information being released. Instead of you know giving us the circumstances of Mr. Pineda's arrival in the United States, why he was on an ICE detainer, they simply said it was his right to privacy, which predominated over our interest in how to adjust public policy in order to keep people safe from, from these type of deadly encounters. Gates' response to DHS less than a week later says the decision to withhold that information is, quote, legally inappropriate and tone deaf. Gates tells me he won't be asking Pineda for a waiver. I'm very disappointed that the Department of Homeland Security has not been truthful with our office regarding Mr. Pineda or really a lot of the questions we've asked regarding how many apprehensions have occurred at the southern border, how many of those apprehensions resulted in paroles or releases in our congressional district. Gates says he hears regularly from local sheriffs that there's no effective handoff to get illegal immigrants deported, leaving the problems up to the local governments. I'm told law enforcement is seeing an influx of illegal immigrants in our local jails. We're working to track down that data. Gates says Byron Pineda's case is one of countless criminal charges in Florida that he's seen firsthand being driven by the border crisis. A lot of the people I encounter crossing illegally are on their way to Florida because we've had a lot of economic success here. And let's be honest, Tanner, there are jobs here. And so a lot of these illegal aliens are coming where there are jobs. And because we have a growing economy, that means we get hammered by a lot of that migration.